Okay, so let's start by doing this problem, 221. And we're looking for Vx, Vx here. So we're gonna start by using Kirchhoff's voltage law. Kirchhoff's voltage law, KVL. So KVL, Kirchhoff's voltage law. So let's start here and we'll go 15. Now, what is the voltage across here? The voltage. Well, we know that V is equal to I times R. This is Ohm's law, Ohm's law here. So, if we call this I, the current coming out of here, we know that the voltage across here is I times R, which is one. Okay, minus two Vx, minus Vx, minus I times two. And that is equal to zero. So we know that the current here is all the same because they are in series. All of these are in series. So we have two unknowns. We do not know. We don't know I. We don't know Vx. But we know Vx here is equal to I times 5. Right? I times this 5 here. So Vx equals I, ti I times 5. And then I is equal to Vx divided by 5. I is equal to Vx divided by 5. So let's substitute this in for each of these. So we have 15 minus Vx divided by 5 times 1 minus 2vx, that's 3vx, minus vx divided by 5 times 2 equals 0. So let's keep going with this. So we have 1 fifth, 2 fifth, let's see, what's that come out to be? 15 minus 3.6 vx equals zero. So Vx comes out to be 4.17 volts. So in this problem, we need to use KVL, Kirchhoff's voltage law, and we must use Ohm's law here. So we must use Ohm's law and Kirchhoff's voltage law to figure out Vx, which is 4.17.